Okay, it's the first of its kind in Kansas City and the United States, a grocery store not owned by Amazon, but using brand new Amazon technology. It's called Community Groceries and could be possibly a peek into the future. Our Caroline Hogan is there this morning. Caroline, good morning. Tell us the big question we had this morning as you were telling us about this story. Why is this in Kansas City? Right. Good morning, guys. So actually, the owner, when I talked to him, he worked with Amazon for about three years just to convince them to be a part of this. So that's what Community Groceries is. He wanted to bring accessible and convenient food to an area that he thought really needed it, and it makes it even easier. So let me show you. Take a peek inside. Here's the, some video that you see right there. So when you walk in, you insert your credit card and you scan your palm. Very futuristic. Then as you peruse the store and take things off the shelves, the cameras and motion sensors up above detect what you pick up and thus what you walk out with. It's almost like you have a virtual cloud cart. There are no cashiers, no waiting. You don't even have to talk to anyone if you don't want to. They don't have to get in their car necessarily. They can ride their bike over here. They can walk. Those people who work up the street don't don't have a lot of time. They might have an hour to have a lunch break. Now they have a very convenient place to come grab a lunch and get back to work. And maybe that lunch is a local brand. They're working with 14 different local brands like T-Biotics, Boulevard, you know, Zum. I saw everything in there and they're only hoping to expand. But we should add again that this is a not an Amazon grocery store, maybe like the ones we've seen on the news nationwide. This is its own freestanding grocery store just with Amazon technology. It's really, really cool. They're actually having a grand opening today at 9 a.m. It's been open for a while, but a ribbon cutting kind of just to celebrate what's happening here. Guys? talked a lot about this this yeah. morning a lot of questions a couple of them we had is this more expensive than a typical grocery store and how can you pay what payments are they accepting so it's really not any higher or lower than what you're going to see at the grocery store right now and as far as payment it's solely credit card no ebt right now they are working to include that in the future but yeah all you need is your credit card and your palm that's all you got guys Wild. Really Have you ever shopped in a store like that? And no. I haven't either. I mean, obviously, we've heard of them, but I've never done that either. Caroline Hogan, live for us this morning. Thank you.